show with me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. And guys, you know I don't like the phrase must win if it's not a must win situation. It's so overused. But even though this isn't technically a must win game, but, well, you're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So they need to come. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2015 National League Central Champion, St. Louis Cardinals. Quickly now, we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in game three. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Los Angeles Dodgers. As the skipper Don Mattingly will line his guys up this way. They'll be opposed by the fellow you see right there, a guy who garnered some Rookie of the Year consideration in 2010, the left-hander Jaime Garcia. And the Cardinals behind him will look like this defensively. Here's Carl Crawford stepping in as we're about ready to get things going. First pitch. Oh, look out. And a very interesting way to begin the ball game here tonight. Mm. He did not like that one bit. But one thing to work in with the hard stuff, don't do it around the dome. Here comes the 1 0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Ready now on 1 and 1. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. Here comes a 1-2. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now another 1-2. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down. Our scouting report for the 28-year-old lefty. As there you get a look at his pitches and respective speeds. So the base is empty here with one away. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Now here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made it pan out. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. 2-0 and oh now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, 
usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Number five waits on deck. 3-0 is on the way. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Now the 3-1 pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so it's a one-out walk here in the top of the first. Number five. Number five will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Now here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball. And he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. He's ready. Now the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. One one on the way. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. He may not throw a ton of change-ups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are, so. The more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Runners on first with one down. Try again, one, two. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. You cannot make this play if you're not ready to catch it before the ball's even hit. Great pre-pitch preparation all over this ball when it was off the bat. What a nice running play that was. Here's Adrian now. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. You love that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letter. The 1 0 pitch. Lays off again, and it's 2 0. Now, 2 0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but. I would maybe think about something else. Now the 2 0 home. And this will be fouled away. Here's the 2 1 to Gonzalez. Fouled back. A runner on first with two away. He's letting. Now the pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. count pitch on its way. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Once again a 3-2. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first will get him easily when the side is retired. So no run on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. No score. 
starting lineup for the Cardinals looks like this. Set to face these guys. There you see the numbers for the big left-hander, Brett Anderson. And behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. get a shot here and he's looking to get off the schneid hitless in the series so far and he's an important guy to get going if they're going to have any chance in this series really need to start getting a little more involved reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third uh, this is foul for the first strike. Now the pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job, but if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Here comes the one-two. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Out of here! She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. Solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. His first homer here in the series, and the Cardinals move out in front one to nothing. And a good swing right there gives them the first run of the ball game here in the bottom of the first. And we always talk about the importance of getting off to a fast start, so you can be sure they're pretty happy about this one. Stepping in now, number 55. So he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. The next pitch. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. The one one. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Here's the one two. Lays off two and two now. And I think that's what they were trying to set him up for. Going with that change up down in the zone on a one and two count. Very difficult to react to, but he did a great job of holding back. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Face is empty here with nobody out. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Matt Holliday will dig in with one in and one away. Here's the first pitch now from Anderson. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. And these guys already have one home run here in the inning. And now you get to the real power guys here. So you need to be careful. 
One out, nobody on. And now pitch on the way. And Holiday will not offer at that point. It's a ball and a strike. One one pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. Now the one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Sets the 2 2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Well, he's made five or six quality pitches in this inning, but he just made the one bad one. And you can bet that's the one he's going to remember when he gets back to the dugout. Good job here, though, because he bounced back to retire the next two guys that he faced. Here's Jason Hayward now. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And the pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The pitch. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. One, two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Here he comes on two and two. Taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. Crawford will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Cards get a run courtesy of Matt Carpenter. Second inning coming up. It's now 1-0 St. Louis. Justin Turner leads things off now in the top half of the second. Third baseman. Justin Turner. Ooh. Here it comes. Woo. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. Now the 0-2 from Garcia. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 0-2 coming. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Here's another 0-2. And this is lifted to shallow center field. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play easily. Andre Ethier will dig in now and he's picked the wrong time of year for his bat to go silent. Yeah, just one hit in the series so far for him, and they're going to have to get more out of his bat. But he's got to make sure that average is going to continue to go south. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Molina will stay with this one for route number two. 
We can hear them all the way up here in the booth. Just a big old, ah! Well, that's what pop-ups will make you do. Kike Hernandez will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. First pitch coming. Oh. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0. Oh. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw in time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. It remains one nothing. Johnny Peralta will start things off in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. And we're going to see a lot more of this because this is a guy who's let it be known that he will work inside. He'll even back you off the plate if he has to. 2-0 on the way. And here's a slider for a cold strike. Ready with the 2-1. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. Waiting on deck. There's Yadi Molina. Here he comes, 3-1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. 3-2, and two, here it is. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That's generally the rule. If you throw a pitch on 2-1, and one, you'll probably see it again on 3-2, and two, and he comes up empty there. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And this is taken in by Crawford now for route number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the American League Championship Series as they've got a good matchup going on over there as well. Number 60 will dig in here. First offering on the way. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. one -oh on the way. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Sometimes all it takes is just one call to go against you, like that one right there, and then you get yourself out of your own rhythm. you got to be able to put that behind you and move on. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1-0 lead. The 2-0 on the way. That one's more like it, he says. Back to 2-1 and one now. And at the plate, if you've got an umpire helping you out, no reason to go after a borderline pitch on 2-0. and oh. Here it comes, 2-1. and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. Yeah, and you know what? You've got a better matchup on deck here with two outs. So on three and one now, they may not take any chances with this guy. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Man, 
little surprising they didn't challenge him there. You know, there are certain guys who just have to make earn their way aboard. This isn't exactly the most dangerous guy in the lineup, so he'll be happy to take the walk. Colton Wong will dig in here, and it's been a series to forget for him so far as you see the numbers there. And with these guys just one game away from going home, he may not have too many more opportunities to turn things around. He's got to make every at-bat count from here on out. First pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Pause. Now the pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. You see right there on the graphic, these first two innings have been costly pitch-wise. He's at 35 already, and he's only through an inning and two-thirds. A one one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two out with the man at first. 2-1. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straightaway center. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. A.J. Ellis is ready to go here as we begin the third. The catcher, number 17. AJ Ellis. And now pitch on the way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Here's the pitch. And a bouncing ball foul. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. Garcia ready, the 1 2. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at 1 and 2. Here's another 1 2. Misses, ball 2. Such a tough pitch to lay off there. The two seamer working away with two strikes, but he lets it go. Maybe just because he knew he couldn't hit it. Here's the two and two offering. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And this is a two seam fastball with a little bit of life to it. I mean, they'll often run east to west or vice versa depending on the pitcher's handedness. He just had no answer for this one. In now, Brett Anderson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1-0 home. Over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. Now here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, these are just extra pitches adding to your pitch count. I don't see why you wouldn't just go right after it. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and they're two gone. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitches. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a battle. Carl Crawford will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Here's the first offering. And this is lined into right field as that'll put him into the hit column for the first time. It's a solid single. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Howie Kendrick will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. First pitch coming. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. He's set. Now the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Here's the one one. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. Ah, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Jaime Garcia makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here's the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. 1-0. Fastball again, but this one's by him for strike one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. The one-two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one-two delivery. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Matt Carpenter will stand in to try to duplicate his first at-bat where he homered to open the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Hernandez is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Well, they took him up the ladder right there with the fastball and he actually did a pretty good job to get wood on it at all but it's still an easy play out there in center field. Number 55 will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going.
Here's the first offering. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Matt Holliday get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. Pitch is a slider called for a strike. He waits. Now the pitch. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. One home. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more from game three after this. Number five will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Shortstop. Number five. Now the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. The pitch. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. You're going to see the location of this pitch on show track. It's actually in a great spot, a couple inches off that inside corner. Normally, you'd think all a guy could do is chop that and foul it, but he gets those hands through very quickly, and he just yanks it. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. It doesn't take a trained eye to tell you. He's starting to wear down a bit out there on the mound. Now the 1-0. And there he goes towards second. Now a swing and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see the top two speeds there, a four-mile-an-hour differential for the two starters from 94 down to 90. Justin Turner will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on the way. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. That changeup away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. One-zero -oh pitch now. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. But a foul ball. One and both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Here's the 1-1 pitch. He's running towards second. But this is speared by the first baseman. And he'll step on the bag himself for the double play. Stick around because Jason Hayward will lead things off when we come back. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. St. Louis is out in front. One to nothing. 
And there is Jason Hayward. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Now here's the first pitch. Now Anderson right back after it here as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing in one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. A late swing on the slider, and quickly it's 0-2. And on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. Pitch on the way. And this is swung on and missed, and Hayward has gone on strikes, and there's one away. Well, this is what folks mean when they're talking about finishing off a hitter. They decide to come right with the fastball here, 0-2, just runs right by him. Here's Johnny Peralta now. As he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. The 1-0. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Now the 1-1. And there's ball two now to Peralta as they fall behind 2-1. and one. Now the 2-1 pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. It's 3-1 and one now. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. The 3-1 is on the way. And he misses ball four. And when he's missing, he's not missing by much. That one might have been just a hair low, but as a hitter on 3-1, you have the luxury of making a pitcher bring something up. So a runner at first with one out now. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. Here's the first pitch now from Anderson. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Throw on to first to be in time to get Molina, and that's out number two. I'm not too sure whether that was a designed hit and run or not. He may have just been going on his own. By running, he does stay out of the double play. Number 60 will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. First pitch coming. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. He's set. Now the pit. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Yeah, he's got an open base here. Looks like he's going to use it. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. 2-0 count, the pitch. Here's a hard-hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. Andre Ethier will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront, and this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. First pitch coming. Back to work now is Garcia as he gets ahead on a good pitch that time. It's strike one. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. Back, 
Now here it comes. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Here's the one one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Here comes a one two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here comes a two two. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. The next 3-2. Swing and a liner. Foul. The next 3-2. A ball hit hard to the left side. And oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him into left. Yeah. A hot shot that time and a tough read down there at third base. He just couldn't get the leather on it. There goes Cardinal manager Mike Matheny on his way out to the mound. And that is going to spell the end for starter Jaime Garcia. So the line score will show he departs after just four innings of work. And you know they wanted more out of him than this as he won't even stand to be the winning pitcher here. Adam Wainwright is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Kike Hernandez will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. First pitch to him. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. And if he can come in here and start putting that pitch in that location, ain't nobody going to touch him. Come set. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And that's through. A base hit. Well, that's the frustrating thing for a sinker baller. When you get the ground ball you need, and it finds a hole. Now he's got two men on to deal with and only one away. In now is A.J. Ellis. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score from second to tie the ball game at one and one. This team's got plenty of guys who can hit the ball out of the ballpark, but these straight singles will do the job as well. Brett Anderson will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Turn two now. Let's go. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. One run, five hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Here's the 1-0. And clearly trying to keep the ball low here. That's ball two. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Now the 2-0. Bounced foul off to the right near Davy Lopes, a former gold lover himself in the first base coaching box. A 
2-1 offering. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. There's one. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Well, you want to get out of the inning without conceding the run, but this is going to be an acceptable trade-off for them. No RBI, but the run does come in from third on the double play. Carlos Villanueva is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Here's Carl Crawford now. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And that's where, if I'm pitching, I just pour a fastball in there. You got to figure he'd be taking to give his pitcher a second or two to get himself together over in the dugout. Here's a 1 0. Swing and a hot shot toward third. Oh, and he misses it. And some problems defensively as they allow him to reach first safely. Sometimes when you know that you're not going to have a play, this is what you have to do. Here, no shot to throw him out down there at third. So he's just going to play it smart, take a bite out of it. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. Here's Howie Kendrick as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. waiting now the pitch pitch is a cold strike the throw and it's not in time as Crawford takes second with ease well they've got two on the board here in the inning and you can see that they're not content just yet good job there to steal second safely and now a two out single could make this a three run inning yeah. from the stretch and he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. That's a good one, too. That couldn't have been an easy take. The right-hander deals on one and two. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Hayward is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So two runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. Dodgers out in front, two to one. Colton Wong will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. First offering on the way. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. All right, make it count. 1-0 on the way. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Just overmatched him there. Now the one and one pitch. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. Here comes the one two swing hard hit ball to second on to first with it is Kendrick and it's in plenty of time for the first out. Rendell Britcher will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. There's a 
fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Here's the 1 0. And that's too high, ball two. Here comes the 2 0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2 and 1. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Fifth inning, 2-1 to one our score. Here comes the 2-1. Swing and a miss, 2-2 two and two now. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. Yeah, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. The 2-2 two -two coming. And this is hit well towards the hole. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Some guys with two strikes, they become dead right field hitters. You can see here, he lets the ball get in on him a little bit, doesn't try to do too much with this thing, then just rides it right into right field. That's well done right there. Matt Carpenter will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. First offering. And he'll hold That's off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Ready now on one and one. Good take there, and it's two and one now to the St. Louis third baseman. And this is fouled back and out of play. Runner at first here, one man out. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. Here's the three-two pitch. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Full count pitch home. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Here's the full count offer. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. Number five is there. Two down. Boy, that's just another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. Number 55 will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Here's the first pitch. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Hernandez 
will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. The cards leave one. They still trail it here two to one. Kevin Segrist will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Number five will dig in one for two thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Here it comes. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Fastball called strike. One and two. This is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Here's the one, two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. All right, now we're going to take a look at the location of the last two pitches on show track. The one, one pitch is right at the knees. That's perfect. And then he gets them to go just a little bit lower on the one and two, and he swings right over the top of it. Here's Adrian now. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Now here's the pitch. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And no shot for Holiday on this one. A fair ball heading for the corner. Around first, Gonzalez on his way to second now. And the way their starter's throwing, another run here, that might be all they need. He's into scoring position now with a double. He's gonna go! Standing in now, Justin Turner as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Now this is popped high in the air back near second. Under it is Wong and there are two away now. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion. And boom, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Don't let him score. At the plate is Andre Ethier as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Matt Holliday set to lead things off when we come back. It's the Dodgers two and the Cardinals one. And there is Matt Holliday now. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home six. Action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. First pitch coming. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. And this guy's had his way with him so far. So maybe this is the way to change things up. Maybe go into attack mode up there. Kind of get the sense that they've been a little too passive, so. This is a nice first pitch single. Jason Hayward will stand in now 
He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. And he'll have to hold on to it there as the takeout slide had him well off balance. Well, this is a pretty smart decision here at second base. He's got that clock running in his head, so he knows he's about to take a shot. So at that point, why risk throwing this ball into the dugout or into the 10th row? He just absorbs the hit, and he hangs on to the baseball. Here's Johnny Peralta now. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. He hasn't shown them to me. Now, he's been outstanding so far. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. As a look, now the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Runners on first with one down. Another 0-2 home. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Kendrick on the first. It's a double play. If their woes continue, the inning is over. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. On to the seventh now in game three. But before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. So a new pitcher coming on now, and the call's gone out for the big guy, right-hander Jonathan Broxton. Kike Hernandez will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. The next pitch. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. One one on the way. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. The one two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Molina will wait on it. One gone. And as a defender, these are the kind of pitchers you like to play behind. Someone who pitches to contact, keeps the defense involved, and he gets an easy pop up right here. AJ Ellis will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Here's the first offering. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. The 1-0 pitch. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 now. When you start that pitch off the edge, most guys know well enough to lay off. You've got to start it on the edge if you want them to chase. Here comes the 
Outside, 3-0 and oh now. He knows the drill out there. You gotta make him swing the bat. To not be giving up walks at this stage of the game, because those could be fatal. Now the three and zero oh offering, a strike, and it's three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, "Look, you're taken until you get a strike." Not a bad idea. Three one on the way. Fastball too high. Ball four. Pitcher number 35. Seth Maness will come on now as he inherits a runner at first with already one out in the inning. Number 61, Seth Maness. Brett Anderson will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. Boy, hitting the guy wouldn't exactly be the smoothest way to enter a ball game. He's lucky that one didn't get him. one -oh on the way. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. You know, in this situation, some people may say, with one out, why not just let him swing away? You know why you don't let him swing away? Because he's a pitcher, that's why. All you can hope for is for him to go up there and make a productive out, and that's what he did. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring in the dangerous left fielder, Carl Crawford. Now the first pitch. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One one home now to Crawford. One ball, Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. Yeah, that's just the same pitch three times in a row. I guess he figures, why mess with success when you get it to one and two? One two. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field, and that's going to find a crease for extra bases, and it ought to open up this lead to two. And the run will come in to score from second as now it's a three to one ball game. He'll be kicking himself here. Just a strike away from stranding that runner at second, but this ball finds a gap out there, and now we'll have to deal with a runner on third and two away. Here's Howie Kendrick. Ball one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there. Right over the top. And just fire that thing in there. The 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. and one. You figure he should get something good to hit you. They don't want to walk him and put him on for the heart of the order. Men on third with two down. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And tack on one more, make it a 4-1 to one lead. 
with two away, that's a big at bat right there. You don't want to leave that guy stranded over at third, so that's a nice job of finding a ball he can square up and then driving it for an RBI single. Trevor Rosenthal will come on much too early here if you ask me. It's just the seventh inning. Number five will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Into the box now, number five, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's ready now, the pitch. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. A runner on first with two away. The 1-2. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Well, I know that instantly everyone's going to start pointing fingers out there, but when you're facing a guy like this, as a pitcher, you have to be allowed to work inside. That'll hurt a bit, but it's just part of the game you have to live with. Adrian Gonzalez will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Now the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The 1-0. Now a swing, and Gonzalez gets a hold of one, sending it out to deep left field. Holiday looks up, but this is off the wall. And the runner will score from second. And he will score as well. And that's a big at-bat there as they've broken this one wide open. Oh, and a big swing of the bat right there. And he would have loved a three-run homer, and he didn't miss that one by a whole lot. As this is going to be off the wall out there. But as far as the consolation prize goes... I think he's going to be more than happy to check into second base with a two-run double. Into the box, Justin Turner. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right-hander have stood up. The 1-0 home. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball, 1-1. One one. One, one pitch on the way. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to 1-2 and two now. Here comes a 1-2, and he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they nearly batter to the plate, and they push across four runs. On to the bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in St. Louis. It's the Dodgers' six, and the Cardinals' one. Yadier Molina will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Here's the first pitch now from Anderson. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will as it heads to the corner. A fair ball. And Crawford will need to play the carom off the wall here. And he's kicked off the home seventh with a leadoff double. This is how you make life difficult for that pitcher out there. He's going to get to make one pitch from the windup and then go right into the stretch because this is a bullet down the line. That's a great at-bat there as he gets him going with a first-pitch double.
That's some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Stepping in now, number 60, as he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. He's set, now the pitch. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. It seemed like that lead was pretty comfortable coming into the inning, but he's given up a double and now a single here to the first two batters, so things aren't looking so safe anymore. Colton Wong. Stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. First pitch on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now the Cardinals are looking for that one key hit to maybe change their fortunes. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. A 1-1. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Yeah, a good job here of working himself back into a hitter's count, especially with two men on base in front of him. Here he comes on two and one. Oh, this ball's laced, and it's going to get down into the right center field gap. And he will score as well, and they're in striking distance now. It's down to a three-run game. Well, he's been able to get that pitch by him earlier in the game, but not this time. It's all over in here, and he's going to bring home a couple on the two-run double. Dodgers manager Don Mattingly out of the dugout and on his way to the mound. And that's going to be the end now for Brett Anderson. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three-run lead. Yimmy Garcia will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. Number 63, Yimmy Garcia. Standing in now, Trevor Rosenthal. And he'll try to get that runner to third, but this one gets fouled. A runner at second, nobody out. He waits, now the pitch. And he'll try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Oh, man, what a terrific play right there. That ball was rolling, and it stayed low, so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab, then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. Some action out in the bullpen. A couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's Matt Carpenter. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Come set, now the pitch. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. And now this is where you can be just a little bit more selective as a pitcher. You're looking for the strikeout. You certainly don't have to throw a strike in either of the next two pitches. So you got to see if you can get him to chase. From the stretch. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. 
That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. So one and two with one away. Ball two. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now the three and two pitch. And on three two, he delivers the line drive out to left center. That's going to split the defenders out there for extra bases. And that'll score the run from third. And don't look now, but the lead's cut to two here. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Well, negative three-run inning now as another run scores on the RBI triple. And still, with only one out, they've got an excellent chance to push it up the four. In now, number 55. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. So often, playoff baseball comes down to the bullpen. And this is going to be a bullpen game from here on out. Three runs already home here. 1-0. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Comes set. Now the pitch. And that misses two and one. And not only was that way high, but you've got to be careful not to airmail one over your catcher's head. Here's the two-one pick. And this is bounced foul near the secret weapon, Jose Kendo in the third base coaching box. The two and two home. Full count. Three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging that. Three, two, here it comes. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Fouled back. Now the payoff pitch home. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. In a spot like this where you have to have a base runner, you got to make sure you're swinging at strikes. And by right, he should be on first right now because that was ball four. Holiday standing in now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. And against a veteran hitter like this, you've got to be in that strike zone early in the count because the more pitches he sees, the better he's going to be able to time anything you've got. Now the 1-0. Oh. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One one. Starting to look like not only are they not going to walk him, but they're indeed going to challenge him. And we've seen that mentality backfire many a time before. But you got to give him a little bit of credit on the mound. He's not backing down one bit. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient, because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. The right-hander deals on one and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. L.A.'s on top, six to four. 
Andre Ethier will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. The right fielder number 16, Andre Ethier. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, that man's got to be feeling a little better about things out there on the mound. He sure does. His guy's got him right back into the ball game, and now they need him to put up a shutdown inning here so those bats can go back to work. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Still no fastballs in the at-bat. It's been all off speed. Ah, uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. And Ethier will hang around a little longer as that misses to make it two and two now. Two-two pitch on the way. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And when you need a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk's not on the agenda. You better bear down right here. Full count offering on its way. Foul back. Payoff pitch one more time. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout, quickly one away. You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball as hard as he does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Kike Hernandez will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The 1 0. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Hard to call that an off speed pitch when it's a changeup at 88. That's a fastball for a lot of guys in this league. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Here comes the 1-2. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three ball, and there are two down. A.J. Ellis will stand in. He's one for two so far. First pitch coming. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-0 oh pitch now. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Cardinals four. There's Dodger manager Don Mattingly making his way out to confer with the home plate umpire, and it would appear we're going to see a double switch here. Pedro Baez is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Number 52, Pedro Baez. Now playing center field and batting in the ninth spot. Jason Hayward will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. Here's a 1-0. -oh. 
And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Yeah, that's a very hittable location right there. Not where you want to be when you're facing a guy like this. Come on. Here's the one, two. Trying to go the other way. This is looped out toward third. And this will be no problem over at third. And there's the first out. Ah, he got caught in a situation where he had to protect with two strikes. He's probably fortunate he even got wood on this one, but it didn't matter much as this turns into an easy little soft liner. Here's Johnny Peralta now. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Ball two. Close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Now the pitch. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Waiting on deck, there's Yadi Molina. Rio. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. At this point, the base runners are what you need, so swinging at a 3 0 pitch and making it out really doesn't help the cause at all. Yadier Molina will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. First pitch to him. In there, no balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. And the pitch. And that misses one and one. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but... Most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. The 1-1 one, one home. This one's in there. Maybe should have been strike three, but instead it's one and two now. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Now the 1-2. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Two-two. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And Molina's aboard a base hit. A pretty good swing there. You'll watch. Head stays down. Ball gets deep in the zone. And he lets those hands lead the way. And he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. John Jay will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. As a look, now the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Two out with the man at first. Now the 1 1. 
And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got it in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. One, two. Here's a ground ball to first. And Gonzalez will take it over himself, and that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On to the ninth now in game three. Dodgers lead this one six to four. John Jay will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number 19, John Jock Peterson. Will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. First offering on the way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. 1 0 on the way. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. You talk about a guy who's really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. And he's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. Here's Carl Crawford now as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. From the belt, the pitch. And 0-2 oh now as Crawford comes up empty on that one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw on to first, won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Boy, that's just excellent concentration right there. You know, a lot of guys will try to put one eye on the bat and one eye on the ball, but he was determined to get that lead man, and a good throw gets it done. Howie Kendrick will step in, an RBI single this last time around. Here's the first offering. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. He's set, now the pitch. Breaking ball, that's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. and one. I don't think his goal coming in was to make things interesting. He's sure not finishing things off in style. The 2-1 home. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Number five. Number five will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. A runner on first with two away. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2-0. And, oh. and you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base dealer over there at first base. Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. Woo! 
Here's the 2-0 pitch. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for. But on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. He's ready now. The pitch. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And even though that runs the count full, you'll at least get the benefit of giving that runner at first a head start here. Three, two pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Once again, a 3-2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3-2. and two. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One left for L.A. They still lead it 6-4. to four. Kenley Jansen is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. Colton Wong will stand in to lead things off here in the ninth with his guys in danger of falling into a very difficult to escape 3-0 deficit. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Whoa! There's that calling card right there. First pitch up and in right out of the bullpen. Wake up, everybody. Here's the 1-0. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Turner is there. One away. And up by two here in the ninth. He needed to make sure he could keep that leadoff man off base so they don't get the tying run to the plate. That's a huge first down. Trevor Rosenthal will dig in. No official at bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. First pitch coming. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Surprised that there's no pinch hitter here? Shock is more the word for me. You're losing, but you're letting a reliever hit? I just don't get it. Now the 1-0 pitch. Nope. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage. But you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3 and 0 to him. The 2 0. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The 2 1. Now a hard liner towards short, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Oh, man, he's got to be thinking, that might be the hardest ball I hit all year. Why does it have to be right at somebody? Hey, nobody said this game was fair. Here's Matt Carpenter. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. It's Brett Anderson in line for the victory, barring a ninth inning collapse here. Now the pitch. 
Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the one and one pitch. Now a line drive here is caught. And if that's not symptomatic of the way this one's gone, the ball game is over. It's about what we've come to expect here from Jansen as he comes in here to fire a scoreless ninth and finish off the Dodger victory. take our leave time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two run victory well guys as you know if you're going to pick a time to have a big ball game you may as well make it happen in the playoffs and this man right here obviously did he's our top player of the game yeah no time like the postseason to come through and prove your medal i think his performance here was by far the big key to this ball game So that'll just about do it. For Eric Harrow, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 6-4. to four. Good night from St. Louis.